MTSS stands for Multi-Tiered Systems of Support, and we use that district-wide and in our counseling program to make sure that no students fall through the cracks. Essentially, we try to make sure that all students get everything at the Tier 1 level, and then we look for students who need more, and then move them to Tier 2, and then Tier 3 as needed. We have spent a lot of time and money improving the mental health teams within the district and within the building. Specifically, we have introduced um, extra programming in the form of our telebehavioral health program, and we have a bridge program at our school that really helps with students who are out of school for any length of time, being able to transition them back into the program. And we also have a person who works as a school-based care coordinator, who works with Haywood Hospital and our schools to help get our students anything that they, that they need with regard to um, counseling or any services that the family needs in addition to that. So the Bridge Program is a Tier 3 uh, mental health response uh, program that we modeled off of the Bright Program out of Brighton, Massachusetts. It is individualized response for students dealing with medical issues or mental health issues where they've missed extended periods of time outside of the building. Uh, reintegrating them into the classroom, making up work that has been missed in an effective way that doesn't put more strain on their mental health as they reintegrate to their full seven period schedule. So tier three means that it's, it's available to any student in the building that needs it when they meet the criteria. So tier three would be uh, specifically when your tier one, which is just school, it's your basic schedule, isn't going to work out. So taking someone that's been missed a month from hospitalization and saying, here's your seven period schedule again, we would anticipate that they would not succeed with that. So tier three means we're pulling back that schedule and constricting their schedule to a place where they can handle for a short period of time so that they can reintegrate to tier one whole school model faster. The role of the clinical outreach social worker um, is to help support the students and families that may need added support at any period in, in their attendance in Gardner High School. It's to help with mental health um, struggles, financial struggles, anything that might be a barrier to the student or the family in interfering in their education. It's my job to support the students with referrals as well as the families with community supports that might be helpful in addressing whatever challenges that they might be facing. Some of the services that I'm um, providing or helping to support with are um, outpatient therapy that takes place in school, so school-based therapy. So I help set up referrals for students to be seen during school. Um, I also work to collaborate and coordinate with other community supports, other mental health supports, and make sure that the, you know, the students and families' needs are met across the board. So I do a lot of communicating with other local agencies and other resources to help make sure that they have what they need. Telebehavioral Health, um, our program is through Haywood, so we're here at the school. Uh, we offer four services, our teletherapy program, which is a school-based program, and it's through Zoom, so the students are able to come from class, leave after their session, go back to class, continue their day. Even though this is a school-based program, they're able to Zoom with our clinician through um, on vacations and uh, summer breaks. We also offer our ACRO program, which is a 13-week therapy model for substance use and co-occurring mental illness. This helps students get positive coping skills, develop better communication skills to help decrease unhealthy coping skills such as substance use, self-harm, and other injurious behaviors. Our third program is our AMP mentoring program, which is in school with our mentor, and they meet four to six times and our mentor is available any time of the day, even if there isn't a session planned. This uh, program also helps with academics, well-being, social interactions, stress. Our fourth um, service is community resources uh, that can help with housing, utility, clothing. Our program is here to support the community and what they need. We offer our services right now at the high school and the academy, and we are here to support them and get to their level they need to meet during school because they don't have transportation, we're here to help them.